I'm Jim Coffey and the title of the show is uh, September Shock. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Steve Coffey, the name of the show is September Shock. And I'm Jim Coffey and the name of the show is... <laughs> Shock. Shock. Why did you, why did you call it that? Let's do it together. Can we do it in harmony? I'm Steve Coffey. I'm Jim Coffey. And the name of the show is... September, September Shock. Shock. <laughs> You know, we didn't grow up necessarily, we didn't hang out with each other. You could have just stopped at didn't grow up. <laughs> well, we didn't grow up. I'm a painter and you are? I'm a woodworker. There you go. And I like to be known as a woodworker. I'm not really a wood artist, I'm a woodworker. We decided that a piece of furniture with a painting in it would be a really good idea. I think for my purposes it was to adorn the furniture. For mine, uh, elaborate frame. I've always been attracted to woodworking. A trip overseas, I saw some beautiful furniture when I was 18 years old and uh, never forgot it. You know, I just wanted to have nice furniture, so I started learning how to build it because frankly I couldn't afford it. Paint came to me, went into art school, studied drawing, three dimensions, all of that kind of thing, and ended up sort of coming away from it, not really having, you know, that that I wanted to speak with and started painting. Essentially taught myself to paint, so I wasted all that money in the university. <laughs> yeah. One Christmas, that's where this piece came from. Yeah. That was just a conversation we were having at one of the Christmas at my mother's house, all the family around. Steve and I got talking about, you know, painting and, and, and we kind of left it hanging and we got back together and talked about we should do this. Jim will kind of introduce the idea of, of uh, the materials, the, what type of wood, you know, so of course it's, it's a color, it's, it's a texture and patterns. So that can really influence yeah. my painting. Yeah, it's kind of interesting how the process goes because we deal mostly by email because we live three hours apart. Which is great because we don't really like each other. No, no, we know, just, that's... you know, so this is a way to keep it short and sweet. Actually, it's quite amazing because Steve doesn't necessarily see the piece until he sees the, the wood and then he'll see the rough form. Um, I'm generally not finished by the time you're starting to paint, but he gets the, you know, through our conversations, he gets the general idea of what we're trying to do. And once he sees the wood with the finish on it, kind of what the mixture of the wood is, then he starts putting the painting together. And we've hit it every time. Yeah, we felt real, Just real good it. about it. Yeah. Intuitively good about it. It's kind of an organic process that we have. Actually, we said yeah. the last time we were talking about it that it works. We don't know why it works, but we go with it. I was overseas recently and somebody, uh, we were picked up by a cab and he was uh, asking me what my second language was and, you know, I said, art. <laughs> and really, that's, that's really what it is. It's another voice or it's, or it's, well, it's my voice, really. I don't really separate it as work, play, any of that. It's just, it just is. It's hard to explain because, you know, woodworking to me is like breathing, which is why I do such a wide range of woodworking because I don't really care what it is I'm building as long as it's, you know, wood. But I get, yeah, tons of joy out of it. I wouldn't do it 15 hours a day if I did. <laughs> Ditto. It's an addiction to, I mean, it really is. It's like a drug, so. And progression is is the biggest thing. You know, I just I just want to get better. Yeah, that's. I want, I want it. Actually, that's what it's all about, is just yeah. making the work work better. Yeah. Coming together and collaborating is just like, it's kind of opens up so many, uh, so much energy in different ways, right? I'd bring my madness to Jim, and I would expect he'd bring his madness to me. When you're by yourself doing it, you can talk yourself into circles. And having somebody else to look at something and say, yeah, we're going the right direction or not, helps a lot. And you get some pretty interesting results from it. Because it forces you to look a lot deeper. The collaboration is just to see something in two different mediums, in this, taking up the same space, which is a rare thing, really. The pieces that they'll see in the show will be one of a kind. The only. Yeah. The only. Creativity is, is uh, opening the door to, to our inner selves. It's problem solving is what it really comes down to. That's why, in many ways, it's so necessary. 
I would say just celebrate personal expression. I don't think there's an instruction book for it. It's, you know, you just have to make it a priority. This is more my intimate work, so yeah, it's a little bit unnerving because between Steve and I, yeah, we can sit back and we can say, oh yeah, that's exactly what we wanted. Then you gotta take it and let other eyes see it. I would say we're our own worst critics, so we feel that if we've hit what we expect that other people will enjoy it too. Everybody comes in with their interpretation, which is the beautiful sort of dance that I love about art and what it does with, you know, because everybody becomes the artist ultimately, right? Yeah. In, a, in an opening, everybody's part of that. For me, the Blue Rock Gallery is, it's, it's a pretty special place. I hope everybody else would come out and, and uh, dig the energies. This is the only place that this particular furniture is going to be seen from pretty much this point on. One of my biggest things is, is come out, enjoy the show, and don't be afraid to put your hands on this furniture. It's meant to be touched. It's meant to have your hands run along it. I'm Jim Coffey. I'm Steve Coffey. The name of the show is... September, September Shack. Shack. Band.